<sighs> I'm not even finna do no intro. We finna just get straight into it. You know what I'm saying? Um, I know you guys, some of you guys see the clip of what happened uh, on stream and um, the situation that occurred in Toronto. So I'm about to just go ahead and just really just explain what really went on. All right. So first things first, a lot of people ask, why were we even in Toronto? Uh, we were in Toronto to, to go to the Drake concert. We got front seats to go to the Drake concert. And uh, we just wanted to see Drake because, as you know, that's our favorite artist. And, uh, yeah, that's the reason why we were in Toronto. So I know a lot of people ask their questions like, why was the door open? Or um, why wasn't there security? Why you didn't get security? Et cetera. So I'm just going to really just break down my whole point of view of everything. And so people could just, you know, we could just move on from this as a whole and just go on and continue it as a whole, right? So um, as we touch down in Toronto, we're hanging with uh, Krabaz, right? Krabaz is, uh, you guys, some of you guys know who Krabaz is. He works with a lot of streamers and YouTubers. Krabaz is supposed to be my person that could provide me content for an entire trip other than the Drake concert. He was just there to provide content, right? So as we go, Krabaz initially tells us that, yo, I can reach this club hosting, show love to Toronto, bro. like. Toronto doesn't really get no love out here. So if you could show love to the city, that could be a big thing for the city. Like, you know, just show love and, you know, tap in with the city, man. Cause you know, he was just basically telling us like city, city don't really get no love like that. And we really like love y'all and appreciate y'all. So I'm like, all right, bet. So I go to this club hosting. Um, he introduced me to some people. Some of them were YouTubers. Some of them were creators. You know what I'm saying? And some of the creators that were fans of me, they were just like, Yo, you know how much we fuck with y'all here in Toronto, blah, blah, blah. So, you know, I'm excited. You know, every time um, somebody's a YouTuber or creator, it brings me back to a, a point in my career or a point in my life where I, I wasn't appreciated or loved. And I know how it feels to meet, you know what I'm saying, your idol or somebody who you're inspired by. So I love showing love to creators and YouTubers. So that's just one thing that I always had for me as a heart and mind. And, you know, maybe it backfired on me. Who knows? But um, after that happens, we go to the club. We turn up at the club. Um, we hang out, go get food. After that, we go home. Next day goes by, we start up the stream, right? After we start up the stream, um, people are telling me to go to people are telling me uh, to go to Yorkdale Mall. Now, at first we're going to the Eaton Center, but everybody's telling me Yorkdale is better. It's a better mall. Uh, it's the biggest mall in Toronto. Who from Toronto in here? Why niggas saying that Yorkdale is like 10 minutes away from the hood? <clears throat> that shit is a fact? Like York, YD Yorkdale is like 10 minutes away from, from the hood. Like the hood. 5, 10 minutes away from the hood. That shit people be watching. Wait, this this the, wait that that's the shit people be watching. Yeah, this shit not safe, bro. Nigga, he said, bro, nigga, we take a bike over there. That's how close it is. That shit is crazy, bro. So it could have been anything. It could have been them niggas inside of the mall already. It could have been that or them plotting and watching the stream and just being envious as fucking having some type of like. How? Let me get on check. What do you mean, how he, bro? He not from over there though. Like, how is he supposed to know what's the hood, what's not the hood? Don't get me wrong, niggas should have been told him though. Like, I feel like that's something that that <clears throat> that niggas should have told him specifically. Cribass, I feel like Cribass should have told him that shit. Like, yo, so and so, uh, uh, because bro, he's from here. You feel me? He's from there. Yada yada yada, right? <clears throat> So Krabaz has this whole thing set up, right? So we go, I have a cameraman, um, and Krabaz has like some other people in the car. He's like, yo, he's introducing me. Yo, this is the person who's gonna, this is the person. That's how it happened. You don't pictures. see top this five. Is the cameraman. This is the person who's gonna bring us the bitches. He's breaking it down to me. I'm like, all right, bet, whatever, cool, right? After this happens, um, we end up going to the mall. As we're going to the mall, um, I'm going to the food court, I'm going to the OVO store, because, you know, I want to add on some OVO 8s, because, you know, I'm a big Drake fan, so I just wanted to wear something to appreciate Drake, 
Everybody's making fun of my outfit. Everybody's ain't setting nobody up. Stop so saying I that. I change my shoes and I go get some Air Forces, right? Now, this is where everything happens at. So let's actually break this down, right? Boom. After this happens, um, a YouTuber appears, right? As the YouTuber appears, um, hold on. One second. <coughs> hold on, mom. Let me call you back. Uh, as the YouTuber uh, appears, he's like, yo, um, he's going to tell you, he, he, he should, to him, he's like, he told me why, he told me why, but he, I want, I want him to let y'all tell, I want him to let him, I want to let him tell y'all why he didn't pull through with it. So, um, this is the person that's bringing us the, the bitches, yada, yada, yada. He's like, yo, bro, you mind if I get you for this vlog, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, yes, I'm showing him love on this vlog. He's like, yo, I need you to rate these things, yada, 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 this, then the third, right? Um, we end up meeting one of the girls inside the mall. You know what I'm saying? She's very friendly, yada, yada, yada. I fuck with her. He said there's two more girls who are supposed to be coming to the mall, but they're appearing late. Now, that can be an indicator. They're appearing late. You know what I'm saying? Um, okay, whatever. Just let them know when they're here. They here. They they get in, they hop in a sprinter, we close the door, we off to the Drake concert. So after we're off to the Drake concert, I'm talking to this girl, blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? The other two girls in the car, they're kind of quiet and shy, right? Now, here's the thing. Um Let's just continue with the story. I'll, I'll go back to it afterwards, right? They're kind of quiet and shy. Now, mind you, um, the Drake concert from Yorkdale was far as fuck. It was like an hour, 30 to 40 minutes. Like, uh, it was a long drive. Anybody who was in the stream, they'll tell you that, that that drive was a super long drive. You see what I'm saying? Um, As we're in the car, I'm like, well, like, bro, like, the chat's like, bro, y'all should have... I should have got some liquor or something to turn them up. So I'm like, I tell my driver. Now, I want you guys to really listen so you can follow along with the story. I tell my driver, I said, stop at the nearest liquor store, right? Didn't say a location, didn't say an address. I just said, stop at the nearest liquor store, right? Um, unless anybody in the stream could find any details, whatever, cool. I'm telling him stop at the nearest liquor store, right? Cap and Kabasti go inside the liquor store to get the bottles, right? <laughs> we were like, yo, why are we only getting one bottle? We should get two bottles, right? That's what the YouTuber said. The YouTuber also was like, oh, I have a friend who could bring us a bottle. Keep this in mind. He's like, I got a friend who could bring us a bottle. He wouldn't even charge y'all. I said, well, where is he at? He can meet us at the show. You know what I'm saying? But I'm still, I'm not thinking anything of it. You feel me? And I don't want to blame anybody or let people make accusations or whatever the case may be. I just want you to follow along with the story. You know what I'm saying? So, after this happens, one of the girls is like... Yeah, I think it was a back door. And if so, who... I, I want to keep listening, bro. <clears throat> I feel like it was... I, I know it was a back door, but I just want to know which one of them was the back door, though. Like, um... I'm finna use the restroom. Bad, uh, one of the guys in the sprinter was like, I'm finna grab another bottle. Now, the other girls are like, oh, now nah, I gotta use the restroom too. So four people had to hop out of the sprinter, right? There's four people who hop out of the sprinter. That's what would have that's what lost me right there, bro. As soon as all four of them niggas would have left the sprinter to go to the bathroom. Like, don't get me wrong. This is, this is 2024, and I, and I could be honest and say, <clears throat> girls still use the bathroom together. You feel me? If one girl got to use the bathroom, the other one might fuck around and go with her type shit. So like seeing two girls randomly or three go to the bathroom together is not weird to me, to be honest, because I've seen it before. Like I've been to the spots and I know how that shit goes. So like, that's not. Part of the sprinter, the door is wide open because people are going in and out the sprinter. You know what I'm saying? We don't know when niggas is coming back, blah, blah, blah. Should that door have been have been shut? Absolutely, right? <clears throat> After this happens, a guy comes into the sprinter. He's reaching. He has like one arm right here and the other one. He pulls out his gun. He's not 
he's not really holding the gun. Like, I don't know. He's holding the gun kind of, he's holding it from the extended clip. Like, you guys can see in the footage, he's holding it from the extended clip, right? After he's holding the gun from the extended clip, he's like, run everything. As soon as he says that, my driver peels off. He cuts the wheel. That's why in the clip, you can, you can see me. I dropped the phone. That's how hard my driver peels off. I'm like, oh, shit. Everybody in the car is rolling. Like, they tumbling and shit, right? My homeboy, Cap. Cap rolls out the Sprinter. The person with the gun is still inside of the Sprinter. You see what I'm saying? As the person with the gun is still inside of the Sprinter, Krabaz jumps behind him, and Krabaz ends up jumping out the Sprinter. So now it's me, the two other guys that's in the Sprinter, and, and the gunman, right? After this happens, he now he sees that Cap is out the car. He now directly points the gun towards me, right? As soon as he points the gun towards me, <laughs> boom, I don't know what my driver hit. It felt like the speed bump or something. The car is moving in motion. Boom. He hits the speed bump. Everybody's all like tumbling and shifting over and shit again. The gunman drops his gun. He drops his gun. I ain't going to lie. Oh, my God, bro. The story get me tight, though. This shit that get me tight because I'm just thinking about this shit. And like he told me this and I'm just thinking about it like, nah, it's why you got to really know your personnel and who you be around because when shit really go down, and remember I told y'all this shit the last time. I'm like, yo, bro, when shit goes down, everybody is like, niggas is not going to be there for you how you think they're going to be there for you. Real for real. You got bro jumping out the V. I ain't going to front me personally. <clears throat> what am I doing? Nigga, as soon as he dropped the, as soon as he dropped the knock, nigga, I'm on him. What do you talk about, bro? I might close the door myself, and now it's really up for him. After he drops his gun, thank God the gun fell out the sprinter. Nigga, what? As the gun I'm falls on out that the nigga. sprinter, he's still in the car. But I'm he's, on him. He's kind of like nervous. He's looking like left, right, like oh shit. You see what I'm saying? He jumps out the sprinter. <clears throat> As he jumps out the sprinter, the car, the car like comes down suddenly to a stop. I'm like, hell no. Close the door. Cause the, remember, he just dropped his gun. So I'm thinking he's gonna pick the gun up and try to, you know what I'm saying, run back to the sprinter or something. I'm like, close the door, close the door, and pull off. Close the door, pull off. So I'm telling my driver, I'm like, go, go, go. We're not stopping this car for shit. Go. As that happened, he closes the door. Now, mind you, this is all in like a 60-second time span. Cap and Krabaz, they bend out the vehicle. So I'm thinking that they had a head start to take off, right? Krabaz calls one of the guys in the Sprinter. He's like, yo, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I'm thinking Krabaz and Cap went the same way. So I'm like, okay, Krabaz, you're good. Where's my homeboy at? He's like, Cap's not with me. He walks out. He's like, he's like, I see Cap. I see Cap. I'm like, oh, thank God. You see what I'm saying? I tell Krabaz, I'm like, bro, y'all call an Uber to the hotel because if we spin back, if we spin back, you know what I'm saying? Um, no, first, I initially tell him, I said, where are you at? And are they still there? Because if we spin back, they might, they might shoot the shit up. So I'm telling them, I'm like, yo, y'all hide, y'all hide. Hi, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So after that happens, I text Cap. I said, bro, you good? He said, yeah, I'm good. Cap is <clears throat> calling my phone. He said, he said, yo, where you at? I'm like, bro, we here. We can spin back to come get you. You want us to spin back? He said, you still streaming? I said, yeah, I'm still streaming. He says, they got me, gang. As soon as that happened, I ended the stream. I pointed at everybody. I said, I told my driver, stop the car. All you niggas off the sprinter now. All you niggas off the fucking sprinter now. All of y'all niggas out the sprinter. As everybody's getting their stuff, getting off the sprinter, they found like a cell phone device. It was like one of the girls' phones. I told them, here, take, take the girl's phone. Everybody, everybody off the sprinter. Y'all gotta go, right? After this happens, we all link back. Uh, it's just me, Cap, and Krabaz this time. Nobody else. 
I'm asking niggas what the fuck happened. Cap told me his point of view. He said, yo, as soon as the driver pulled off and I fell out, Cap said that there was two more gunmen outside. He said, in the clip, you only saw one. Apparently, there was three, right? He said it was two more gunmen outside. You know, um, as there was two more gunmen outside, he was like, um, he was like, he seen them. He ended up running, but he didn't go inside the store. Rabaz ended up going back in the store. Cap ran back to the Sprinter. So Cap was running back towards the Sprinter. Why would he you run back towards the Sprinter? Because they got back in the car and chased him down. Why would he go back to the sprinter? I ain't gonna front. <sighs> Makes him what made him think that the sprinter was still gonna be there though? That sprinter is long gone. I wouldn't even think that the sprinter's gonna be there no more. <clears throat> back to the sprinter. So Cap was running back towards the Sprinter. He said that they ended up hawking him down because they got back in the car and chased him down. I didn't even know Cap was going back to the Sprinter. Because I'm like, I told you my point of view, the nigga dropped his, nigga dropped his gun. And after he dropped his gun, I'm thinking that he's coming back or whatever. So I closed the door. I didn't even see him or hear him. So Cap was coming back to the Sprinter. And as Cap is coming back, the driver was still already driving. And mind you, my, the driver was just there for, for my safety. He didn't know what was going on either. He just did whatever he had to do. And truth be told, the driver did, in fact, save a life. You see what I'm saying? So after this happens, he tells me the story. I don't know what was going on. I don't know if it was the girls. I'm not going to accuse anybody, like I said. I don't know if it was the girls. I don't know if it was the YouTuber. I don't know who it was. It could even be, you know, we were live streaming the whole entire time. Who was that? Who was that? A mall. Somebody told me that there's a big hood from across that mall. You know what I'm saying? And that they could have been followed. The one thing that I do know is that we were followed the whole entire time. Because I'm telling you, from that mall to the liquor store, it's a 40 minute drive. I'm telling y'all right now, it's a 40 minute drive. All I know is we were being followed. So I can't sit here and blame and say it was the girls. I can't sit here and blame and say it was the YouTuber. The only thing I know is that my location was exposed because I was doing IRL streaming and that they were there the whole entire time. Um, after that happened, um, it did teach me a lesson. I know you guys have multiple questions about security. Yes, you security. need security 24-8, bro. You need that shit 24-8. You are, Mario is now at the point where he is too big. He's too, he's, he's, bro, this nigga Mario is too big now. No matter where he go at, he needs security now. It don't matter. He's too big, my nigga. He don't, he don't even know how big he is. That's the thing about it. And <clears throat> it sucks, but niggas are envious. Like I said, they see that you got shit. They see you got money. They see that you have a living for yourself, bro. They want what you got. And that's just, you all do. I ain't gonna front. I don't need security though, bro. I'm gonna be honest. Because when I'm outside, when I'm outside, I'm outside with people who I know. Like if shit go left, they gon' they could take it there though. You feel me? Like so it's it's kind of like it's fake a little different. <clears throat> nah, but still, I'm not that. I don't need security, bro. Trust me. I walk around my hood freely. I walk places freely, bro. I don't. I don't really feel me and and I'm smart about it too like I don't take my chain everywhere I don't wear my ice everywhere I be looking like a regular nigga I'm hoodied up half the times niggas don't be for me I stay real low I blend in that's what I'm saying that's that <clears throat> I said the same thing though I said you got to know your crowd you have to it's mandatory for you to know your crowd like some people are just around for business some that's that's the thing some people are around for business and business purposes only if shit go left if things if things somehow some way get popping they not they they going they might run on you they might fuck around and they they, they not punching a nigga for you you know what i'm saying they not letting the shot off you they not there's a lot of shit a nigga won't do 
You feel me? It might panic. <clears throat> well, like I said, like, when I'm home, at least when I'm home, I'm talking about some when I'm home for real. I don't really go outside out here, so I don't got to worry about nothing too crazy. But even when I am out here, niggas just be strapped up. So it's like, they ain't, they ain't shit. They, they, but like I said, it is personnel, bro. It is personnel. Like, I'm not hanging around a lot of these niggas. Like, a lot of niggas I wouldn't hang around with because I know, I know that, like, for example, going to a club, I'm not doing that club shit no more. It's clip for me going to clubs. I'm good off of that. I'm not with the right niggas or, you know what I'm saying? If shit does somehow get out of hand and I'm not, I already been in that situation. Most I already been in that situation twice out here already. I'm not doing it again. Remember the situation I had put y'all on to. I'm not doing that again. That shit could have went left. I don't know why he did that, but yeah, like I, so I was telling Mario yesterday, I'm like, yo, bro, because he was saying that it was a thousand for security and it's illegal to have guns. So it's going to be securities with no guns. I would have still did that, though, for just just the look, you know, just the look of it. Them security guards would have been outside the van watching. the. You know what I'm saying? They would have been patrolling the whole van. Every Everything would have been secured around it. Like, they would have had to think twice. Like, okay, how are we going to do this? How are we going to do that? Like, even if they don't have any, any, any guns or not, just the, just the fact of having security holds a lot of weight. You know what I'm saying? So, that's what I was telling him. Security would have got booked too. They had three knocks. Security would have got booked too. Nah, if that, that's it, bro. They not no. It was only one nigga who who rushed the V. Security part, right? So the security part. I was gonna get security, right? The security was charging me eight hours for security, right? I'm like, yo, I don't need the security for eight hours. Hold on. I'm like, yo, I don't need the security for eight hours. I just need the security for two hours, right? That's the first thing I thought in my mind. Second thing, they told me that security can't carry guns in Canada. That's what I was told. They said, yo, since it is what it is, I'm not Canadian. If you guys want to comment below, give y'all thoughts. If y'all want to say that they told me a lie, I don't know. They told me that security in Canada can't get carry guns that they're anti-guns, that they can't be armed, blah, blah, blah. There's no such thing as a registered firearm. Is this facts? Who's, who's from Canada in here? This is facts right here? Anybody? Who's, is, this, is this true? You should have seen how Silky Security was on point yesterday. I was watching. I was in tune. I saw. I saw. Is this a fact, Drizzy? I don't know nothing about security. Uh. For them to use, like, there's, they just can't carry guns. Now, again, I'm not from Toronto. I'm not from Canada. So if anybody could vouch in the comment section, please let me know because that could be a piece of the story, too. Because if, if, if security can carry guns, then I might look at certain niggas funny. You see what I'm saying? So I was told that they can't carry guns. That's just what I was told. Security can't carry guns. That was the only thing I was told, right? So I'm like, why am I hiring somebody that's $1,000 for two hours who can't even carry a gun, you know? And um, I was like, well, I'm going to a mall. I don't think people would try me at a mall. There's police in the mall. I'm going to the Drake concert, and I know the Drake concert is filled with police. Now, it was an unfortunate situation because we made a stop to the liquor store. If we didn't make that stop, who knows? We could have probably been good unless they were just ready to crash out at a Drake show. I mean, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But um, I, I, I'm really just hurt about this situation. Um, I apologize to Cap. Um, this incident has a similar incident like this has happened before. Uh, I never want to speak about the L.A. story, but uh, a situation like this was posting the L.A. story. Um, 
I've been shot at before. I've had gunplay towards me before. And in every single situation, I prevailed, thank God. You know what I'm saying? In every single situation, I prevailed, thank God. And um, I'm using this as a lesson. Um, from now on, uh, someone told me the, the most knowledgeable thing ever. And someone told me um, hours and minutes of discomfort is not worth your life. Get security. And um, from now on, I will be getting security. Um, two big ass armed security. Um, this this is like I said. This is not the first time it's happened. It's probably the third time it's happened to me. And in every single um, way, shape, or form, I prevailed. And it's just because of me thinking that it's not gonna happen right here. There's no way it could happen right here. It's me just thinking that, you know. And um, like I said, little hours and minutes of discomfort could really cause you your life. And um, like I said before, uh, for all my supporters, you guys don't have to harass the girls. You guys don't have to whatever. Just leave the situation alone. You know what I'm saying. It is what it is. It happened. It's over with. You know what I'm saying? And um, just just leave everybody alone. Stay out of the situation. We're going to move on from this. You know what I'm saying? I promise you we're going to move on from this. And um, it, it all started with just me trying to show Toronto love and trying to show Canada love. It made me just think about certain things. Like, yo, I'm going to have to just start saying no to pictures. I'm going to just have to start, you know what I'm saying, just stop showing love to certain people. Just move move smart, move the way how I want it because you never really know people's intentions. You never really know who's out there to get you. You know what I'm saying? Um, nah, word. Did y'all see that shit? Bro, that nigga, the nigga who posted or the nigga who, because I was in his stream. Bro, who, um, that nigga who took a picture with Rat at the food, the food court. Bro, he posted this shit on his Snapchat. And this is what he said. <clears throat> and he throwing some shit up, too. I ain't gonna front. He throwing some shit up. He got a fanny pack on him. I don't know. He probably knocked up in there. So, this is, I, I don't know. I'll be looking at everything, bro. There could have been multiple drops. Like, that ass. It could have been multiple drops. Can someone... Can, can someone some sb and tell me who this is i don't know what sb means there's a there's bare famous people at yd and i'll be vexed if this youth isn't famous i ain't gonna lie that's 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 crazy that's crazy to say some somebody means sb oh okay 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 that's not crazy though oh can somebody somebody and tell me who this is what is he throwing up though? Like he throwing up his own shit. I don't even know what the fuck this means. He dropping the wool. I don't know. But like I said, there could have been multiple situations where niggas like I, I just be looking at everything. Bear people, bear people, Canadian slang funny. Don't even know what he throwing down. I'm weak. As far as Canada goes and Toronto goes, I still love Canada. I still love Toronto. Um, it's just something that could have happened anywhere. Um, and you know, it's just an unfortunate situation. Ew, fam. Um, Run everything, that, that fam. Happened. Um, I'll go, I'll I see everybody on Twitter and a lot of people Canada, talk though. about the situation, um, it's including some of my so-called friends. And just, just trying to get content out of it or trying to get streams out of it. And it's just like, bro, I ain't gonna lie. I don't follow some of them. I ain't gonna lie to you. I just don't fuck with certain people. And anybody who's trying to make a joke out of this situation, you know, God bless. You know I'm saying, I'm sorry that. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. Facts. I saw a few niggas. I ain't gonna front. I saw a few niggas who who was trying to make 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 jokes about this whole situation on on Twitter and on Twitch and all that. And it was a few big influences. I can't even lie. That shit is corny. I was mad corny, bro. Nah, he wasn't the only one. I did see that. I did see that. And I ain't like that. I'm gonna be honest. I did see what TK had, had said. And I didn't I didn't like that. Niggas tried to make a whole joke over it. But it's like, bro, I feel like in a situation, I could speak in general. That's what I'm saying. But like, that was fake OD, bro. That was fake OD. Especially to somebody that's like, 
that's really a man's, you feel me? Like imagine, imagine me upstairs and he's downstairs and I'm over here reacting to the shit on some like, yo, he ran on his mans. He ran on his mans. He ran like, bro, that's fake crazy, bro. Had a little song in the background. I'm gonna look terrible. Imagine that shit. I would look like a terrible, a terrible friend, bro. But yeah, certain things could have really happened. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not gonna speak for Cap's side of the story because that's his own story. But Cap did get injured in that situation. You know what I'm saying? And um. Like I said, uh, I apologize to Cap because I was the target. I was for sure the target. You know what I'm saying? And I know I was the target. And it's something that I got to live with while being guilty of. You know what I'm saying? And um, with that being said, I love all my supporters. I love those who love me. And um, for the people who really do support me, uh, pray for me. Because I've been going through a lot of things this year. And um, I'm just trying to move on from the situation and trying to do better for myself. That's it. You know what I'm saying, and um, that's pretty much all I can say about the situation. Um, I don't know, loads of things could have occurred. Who knows if we were back door? Um, who knows if if they just had the location and were following us the whole entire time? I really don't know. Now, the situations that happened and the predicament that happened, it could feel like a back door, but you honestly got on a shit you just don't know. And, um, like Nigga, that shit was a back door. I don't give a fuck. I moved on from this. I just learned to no more. No, no new people. I'm not hanging around nobody extra. I don't know you. I don't know you. you know what I'm saying, and um, this could just happen in any type of situation. Even people in the industry, people in the industry could backdoor you. People in the, you know, what I'm saying this could happen in any type of situation. So it's just like, yo, don't trust people. Um, don't trust anybody. Move smart. Um, shout out to the Shay Frost. The Shay Frost, um, I, I talked to him for about two hours. He was telling me, yo, bro, even if security isn't armed, there's little things they could do for you. Like, they could have watched that door. They would have closed that door for you. They would have, you know what I'm saying? It's just little things that they could have done to change the outcome. And me chat. thinking that they're not armed, meaning that they could do nothing with security. What did I say? And he was just telling me, like, yo, if you're going to have girls or use girls for content, do the same thing I do. Turn off their phones. Make them put it in the bucket. You know what I'm saying? And... If certain people can't respect that, they don't need to be around you. You know what I'm saying? And he's just really just putting me on game and letting me know certain things, you know? But, um, all the people who saying I ran and all the other things and I left them, like, all that shit is over with. You know what I'm saying? And adrenaline, like I said, adrenaline is rushing. Like, what do you expect for a nigga to do? You expect for a nigga to jump out the sprinter with him? Like, what the fuck? There's three armed men. Like, what do you expect to do in a situation like that? You know, and initially he was out the sprinter first. I really thought he ran and got away because Kravaz got away. They just ran two different directions. So it was just confusion and adrenaline rushing and a lot of things going on at one time. So anyway, the shit is over with now. Um, like I said, I've learned from the situation. I moved on from it. And I'm just going to leave it like that. My fault. I didn't really want to make too much cuts to this video and shit like that. But um, to end off the video, I just wanted to spread awareness to all streamers and YouTubers to get security. You know what I'm saying? Um, I know YouTubers who run around with spreaders all the time, like Booba or even just um, YouTubers or streamers with jewelry or whoever. Just take more cautious of who you are that you could, you could have a target on your back at any given moment. You know what I'm saying? And uh, not to trust people. Like I saw a clip this morning on Twitter of like, Somebody stream sniped AJ and pulled up on him in the middle of traffic. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? And even something small like that, you never know if you're a target or not. You don't know people's intentions. It doesn't matter. Even even in my situation, it could have been anything. Like it doesn't matter if it's jewelry, the way you pose, the way you flaunt. Certain people just do things for a name out here. So it's security. You know what I'm saying? That's all the awareness that I have to spread. And um, yeah, that's it. On TV, as you guys can see, and a nigga ugly. Uh, All right, pull her up. Was he still near the mall? Nah, he wasn't near the mall. He was like forty minutes away. He was forty minutes away, bro. I don't give a fuck. I still feel like he got backdoored. I feel like he got backdoored. 
Kind of don't lie, being funny about the situation. Why is niggas? Why is niggas think this is funny? What? You feel me? My fucking get his gun right, his aim right a little bit, motherfucker. Offer him some, some bread. He got you, nigga. You feel me? He got you, nigga. Second thing, he told me that security sent him guns in Canada. That's what I was told. They said, yo, since it is what it is, I'm not Canadian. If you guys want to comment below, give y'all thoughts. If y'all want to say that they told me a lie, I don't know. They told me that security It's unfortunate though, chat. Wolf Ace Joey, thank you, so, thank you for the motherfucking five gifted the priest that can go. She want to fuck on a weekend. Is that really him? For them to use, like, because they just can't carry guns. Now, again, I'm not from Toronto. I'm not from Canada. So, if anybody could vouch in the comment section, please let me know because that could be a piece of the story, too. Because if, if, if security can carry guns, then mm. I might look at certain niggas funny. You see what I'm saying? So I was told that they can't carry guns. That's just what I was told. Security can't. What do you say? That was the only thing I was told. Mm. Right? So I'm like, why am I hiring somebody that's a thousand dollars for two hours who can't even carry a gun? Thousand dollars? Um, and um, is that a good a good up? Um, I was like, well, I'm going to a mall. I don't think people would try me at a mall. There's police in the mall. And I'm going to the Drake concert, and I know the Drake concert is filled with police. Now it was an unfortunate situation. Because I don't know what he said. Let's get back some. I mean, shit. So it's over. it's over with for that. You would just go and ride anywhere. You go and y'all with him. Nothing happened. The thing, but I didn't have no reason to go to Toronto. I ain't have tickets for the Drake concert. That's the thing about a lot of these trips, chat. I don't be having no reason to go out there for. I didn't have no reason to go to to, to Toronto. But I'm gonna go and be his bodyguard. I wasn't going to the Drake concert. I wasn't going to that shit. He wanted to go again. Feel me? I ain't have no reason to be out there. I ain't going front. I wanted to go to Toronto too. I'm I'm gonna keep it a stack. I dad wanted to go to the thing is that I actually know people in Toronto though. Like I know people. Like, I know people in Toronto to the point where if I was to go, I'd be super valid. Bro said he was supposed to link Celine. No, nigga. He got to link the, 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 the guys word. I know a few niggas out in Toronto that us. If I go out there, definitely check in. I'm Gucci. Like my nigga RJ, that's really my, that's really my mans right there. I be talking to him. RJ Betts. I be telling y'all niggas about my son, RJ Betts. Yeah. I link up with my boy. Really, my that's really gang right there, for RJ. And I know I know a few niggas out there for real though. Should have had the henchmen on deck. I was going to tell Mario to hit. Oh, I was going to hit bro up for him just just to feel me. But I didn't even know because he he be staying out here in Miami too. So I didn't know if he was out here, if he was in Toronto. And the trip was so fast, like. I streamed one day. Next I, next day, I woke up. Matter of fact, no. Like, yeah, next day I woke up, he was going to Toronto. Yeah, he, he had me book the flight. I'm like, what the fuck? Where are you, where you going? Nigga, missed the flight. I'm going to Toronto. All right. Have fun. Be safe, bro. That nigga should have made sure they had at least one poll around. Sprinter full of YouTube is what you expect. And none of them was people he was really close with. For real. He wasn't close with nobody on that. Nobody on that sprinter he was close with but Cap. Cap was the only person on that sprinter who he was who he was close with. Literally. 